And now just pull, only pulling. Yes. Did you notice the difference? So now you're gonna do both those systems yeah, that's together. Cool. What's going on? It's Jason Ethan. One of the cool aspects of my life is being able to travel around and take in all sorts of bass events. I caught some really cool masterclasses that had great tips on how to refine your German bow technique. So if you're into that, this video is for you. Paying your own down your side. And just like relax. And yeah, just let it. Good. Okay, now freeze for a second. I want everyone to look at his hand right here. Like, that is your perfect wow. German bow grip. Do you see that? It's pretty. Your body just wants to play German bow, okay? <laughs> and you just gotta not get, not get in the way of that, okay? Mm -hmm. So what's happening to you, you can see that like your thumb is actually an extension of your forearm, yeah. and these fingers are more round. And your, your thumb and your next finger are, are almost like forming a, the trick is though, that if you put the bow in your hands just as if it's parallel to your palm, mm -hmm. you're not going to have enough control. So the <coughs> trick is that you actually have to put the bow diagonal in your hand so that it sits in between your ring finger and your middle finger, okay? So just open up your hand very briefly. And it's like a little hammock. Like this part of the bow sits here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Your thumb and your pinky are one um, system. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's a claw. It's as if I put a needle through your thumb, the needle would have to come out your pinky. Cool. Okay? If your thumb is like this, the needle's not going to come to your pinky. Or this is not going to mm -hmm. It has to be really like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's one system. The other system is this one. And it's like if I am right handed and I use a pencil, mm -hmm. this is the way that we should be taught how to use a pencil. Most, you know, a lot of people do something crazy these days. <laughs> which I myself did and I had to retrain myself how to use a, a pencil to improve my bow arm. But, so you have two systems, the claw and the pencil, okay? And you can see that the frog is sitting like in your fingers before mm -hmm. now, right? Okay, so now I just want you to play like an open D. But what I, I want you to do the same thing we did with Shruti where you really feel like you relax. In your fingers, feel like you grip the mm -hmm. string and then... that I said this in your group because we were very advanced but almost every other group of kids that were pre-beginners I saw immediately to pay attention that the tip of the bow goes up not falling down which seems to be more of the tendency of us German bow players that right? and then you can sort of have this point when you're just really resting the feeling of that is more compared to what I uh, compared to resting on a table, right? Sorry for the piano, yeah? But this is kind of like any kind of, you know, um, fixed ground, yeah? It could be a piece of wood or something. And then you're just resting. And when you have that, the only thing that, the only thing that you do is to basically, has, it comes from the shoulder here. Because, you know, I never, never squeeze or do anything of that kind. It's just hanging. That's basically my bow stroke, very primitive. Then you, you add all the flavor and everything, but this, this gives you this kind of sort of basement, the power. system you also need to feel this so now you're going to play with these three fingers and you're going to take these fingers off oh gosh okay ah. yep the string is going to hold the bow you understand mm -hmm. there you go and really like this finger has to be engaged yeah. there you go and make sure that it sits in mm -hmm. your fingers like that take those off and then pull Everyone can see, like, it's, 
if I put a line here, all your fingers are going in a line. Okay? Your, one of your issues was that you're, you were kind of like doing what my teacher used to call yeah. like the gunman shit, yep. right? Where your index finger and your middle finger were just not round enough to mm. get that like bite, and your thumb was a little off to lunch. Mm. So now, like, now you have a perfect hold. Have a point where you rest, that's it. And now just pull, only pulling. Yes. Did you notice the difference? So what were you doing differently? I was thinking more of the horizontal motion. Yes. So more yeah. Just that way pulling. Have you noticed any difference or in feeling maybe perhaps in your wrists and the fingers? Was there any? It's a little looser. Yeah. More relaxed. So he's he's very it's wonderful. What I was going to say is that the first thing I look for is that we tend to sometimes think of strokes as something a little more motoric or in some ways becomes mechanical. Like, you know, say any note and that's up. You're making a sound, but a lot of the hair kind of flies without retouching the string, yeah? And that's what happens a lot later when you start to play longer notes and connecting is that like this, right? This nervous motion. And the feeling I'm looking for is that every millimeter of the bow, the stroke, my fingers here, they are there not just to hold the bow, but to feel it moving and to pull it slightly. So that is always working. This is in fact for the portato, what you heard. That's kind of the exaggerated version of that. When we play legato, we always play a little bit of portato. Yeah? But to start with, you need this. Again, just pulling. It's, everything is down. 